individual voicemail service. I don't know if that's configured yet. Yeah, that's fine. We'll allow everything. And you can just scroll. You don't have to click to scroll. You can just flick to scroll through things. So that's good. And uh, that's terrific. Uh, all right, I'll get that set up later. Not sure what's going on there. Let's look at the uh, browser here, and we'll go to. Uh, we usually go to the dog, but let's uh, let's be a little more objective this time. Let's hit up NY Times. Yeah, having some problems typing there. If I actually pay more attention to what I'm doing, try to learn how to use the device instead of just uh, bashing on it, maybe that would help. So here's the Times homepage loading up over the 3G. So we get the mobile version. Pretty easy to scroll through. Add New York Times Blackberry shortcut to your home screen. All right, let's hit up the phone dog because we know we don't have. Uh, we know it'll go straight to the main homepage. Nice big. I like the uh, the period shows up. BlackBerry users know when you're entering a URL, you can hit space to get a period. But it's kind of cute that they uh, they put it on there for you. Now the phone dog page is notoriously taxing on mobile browsers. That's a. Uh, I'm just kind of. Uh, I'm guessing here. I don't have the bold anymore, but. That was a little bit faster. We'll have to see the whole pit. Yeah, that was a little bit faster, I think, than when I tested the bold on AT&T. That might have more to do with the network than anything else because uh, AT&T's network out here in the San Francisco Bay Area has been uh, pretty hammered ever since iPhone 3G came out. Um, but there's the, there's the phone dog page. Double clicking zooms in. Zooms in a little more. You've got your zoom out buttons on the bottom. Zoom in, zoom out. Can I hold it? No. So that's pretty good. Let's go to a video here. Samsung Saga. Not to compare phones, but just to check out the video. This may be the longest unboxing video ever. So... Yeah, the video just doesn't show up. The YouTube video would be embedded right here, and uh, it just doesn't show up at all, no link or anything. So we can get to YouTube other ways. Uh, what else we got? Media player. This is where uh, you would think the bold should really shine with the videos. The bold, the storm, excuse me, would really shine with videos because uh, of the big bright screen. Get my head out of the way there, sir. Life simple. Kill or be killed. A lot of glare. But the screen looks good. It all sounds great until the day you find yourself confronted by a choice. A choice to make a difference. Or to walk away and save yourself. Nothing like Vin Diesel to show you you mean business with your new smartphone. Right. Do we get auto rotate? Doesn't look like it rotates in video. I need a What's a package? Hit the screen. Cross me and you'll have no place to hide anymore. Uh, looks like a little bit of a hiccup here. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna frown into the camera. Uh, I killed the bird. It's totally dead. I killed it. Yep. Totally killed it by hitting a button during the video playback. Look at that. Let's see if I can turn it off.
Nope. All right. Well, good thing uh, it's got a removable battery there, huh? <clears throat> All right then, the magic. See, this is why we unbox. This is why, this is what we do with Phone Dog. We just show it to you. You know, we show it to you first, just how it is. And then, uh, here, it'll be like me talking on camera. We show it to you first, just how it is. And then, you know, I'll take the device, I'll play with it, I'll read the manual, I'll learn about it. And I'll report back after a little more usage. Here you can see the boot sequence again. While it's booting, show you on the uh, little tips here. Uh, to pause or resume playing a song or video, press the mute key. So that's what I should have done. <laughs> mute key up on top. All right. Um, this is your mute key. So there are these two keys up here on the top panel, curved panel, the lock key and the mute key. And I should have pressed the mute key to pause the video. My fault, I killed it. Uh, but it's coming back to life. Uh, camera, you can zoom in or out. With the keyboard, you can hide the keyboard by sliding your finger down. You can highlight and select by touching the screen lightly to highlight an item or place the cursor. You can scroll. It's got speed sensitive scroll depending on if you're moving your finger quickly or not. And uh, you can pan, you can flick left or right to move between items, and you can slide around to pan when you're in a picture. So there you go. While this is booting, do a little size comparison. So I actually don't right now have another, oh look at that, it's, oh it's still booted up. I don't have another Blackberry to compare it to, but I think this will be worth your time anyway. Here's the iPhone next to the Bold. There we go, it's back on. I'm actually going to show you, uh, show you the home screen. So you can see the screen, actually on, we'll close up the Bolds. The bo I keep saying the Bold, we'll close up the Storms screen, although oh, it's getting data. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Cancel. All right, so here's the uh, iPhone next to the Storm, and you can see screen-wise, Storm is a little bit wider, it looks like. Uh, kind of roughly the same. The actual device, the iPhone, is a little bit longer, but the uh, Storm I'll show these back to back here. You can see the iPhone sticking out a little bit more. Uh, Storm is definitely a little bit wider. And then obviously the Storm is quite a bit thicker than the iPhone. This is the original first gen iPhone, but the, uh, the 3G iPhone not really that much different in terms of size. Uh, we'll also, since we're talking Verizon, we'll show you the Voyager. So obviously you get a whole lot more touch screen for your money here with the Bold. And then with the Voyager you get the, uh, the internal keyboard. And just to show you actually, since we're talking about keyboards and stuff, we'll unlock the screen there. Go to messaging. Create a new message. And so you can see, you know, the width of the virtual keyboard versus the width of uh, the full-on keyboard on the Voyager. 
you know, the Voyager gives you a little more room with this real keyboard. It's, it's a much longer device, obviously. And speaking of devices with keyboards, here's the T-Mobile G1. And uh, the G1, definitely longer, narrower, and thicker than the, than the Storm. I'm sure I've said bold like a million times, and I apologize. All these new black bears, I can't keep up. Um, so there you go, Storm G1. And then we'll take a look at uh, one of my favorite of the new Samsung TouchWiz devices. Uh, the Eternity this is an AT&T phone. And this I'm showing you not just for the size comparison, but also to show you the uh, difference in the keyboards. So we'll go to Messaging. We'll show you the two keyboards side by side here. So you get the sure type option on the storm, and uh, we'll go landscape though, because that's probably what you're more interested in. So two, you know, somewhat similar devices, brand new touchscreen devices with virtual keyboards. Obviously, the uh, Samsung does not click when you depress it; it's just a straight up device, whereas the bold we're clicking the bolt the storm there I said it again but there you can see just kind of size comparison wise and there you go all right so it's a very long first look unboxing slash hands-on slash how's the keyboard on this thing look at the brand new blackberry storm from Verizon we will have much much more on this phone obviously on phonedog.com it's a big deal you can't escape the ads if you watch TV. But uh, definitely curious to check out, you know, the BlackBerry email system. The uh, web browser looks pretty good. The Verizon services, VZ Navigator, Visual Voicemail, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, it's really the touchscreen, the clickable touchscreen and the benefits you get from a touchscreen in terms of media playback, web browsing, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it's um, really, this is not the only game in town, but, but this is what you're looking at. This guy is coming after this guy. Gosh, they look kind of similar, don't they? Anyway, until next time, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Don't forget, there's lots, lots more on this phone on PhoneDog. Definitely check out the forums. You can ask me questions. And PhoneDog TV, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, you can bet your sweet bippy will have the storm on hand for the next edition of PhoneDog TV. Till then, that's me and the camera. I'm Noah with the shiny head. We'll see you later.